one of the dirty words in some Christian circles is the word works. There were some that will have you believe that works don't play that vital of a role in our walk. The mere mention of work will drive them up a wall. But the fact of the matter is these people simply are not reading their Bible. The fact is that we as believers, us as Christians, we were created to work. Paul says in Ephesians 2, 9, he says, not, not, we're not saved as a result of works. So clearly no one is spouting, no one is boasting, no one is saying that our salvation is based on what we do, nor are we saying that our salvation is kept by what we do. For some reason, I don't think that some people are actually listening because they seem to be triggered by that word, W-O-R-K-S. You will be accused of giving a backloaded works-based salvation. To those people, I would just simply encourage you to not listen to them. Why? Because what does the scripture say? The scripture says that no, that we're not saved by works, but he says that we are his, that's God's workmanship created in Christ for good works. There's that work. There's that triggering word that would bother some people. This word ergo, it means to work. It literally means to work. We are, we were created. I'm sorry. We were created in Christ for good works. Why were we created? According to this scripture, for good works, which God prepared beforehand so that we should walk in them. Walk in what? those works. When were those works created? They were created beforehand. My question to these people who are triggered by the word works, what is the role of works in our lives? Should we have any works whatsoever? As a matter of fact, how do people know about Christ? We'll get to that in a second. But the point of us even having these scriptures, which I think a lot of them just aren't reading, uh, they will look to see something to give them this feeling that if I don't do what I think I ought to be doing or measuring up. And by the way, none of us measure up to what we should be doing. All of us fail. That's not the goal, though, to point out how much work somebody's doing, how little it works. That's not the point. The fact of the matter is the Bible was given to us. The word was given to us. Why? To equip us. The Bible says, Paul says, all scripture is inspired by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, for training, in righteousness. Why? So that the man of God may be adequate, equipped for every, there's that word again, that triggering word, equipped for every good work. You have to do something. There's something required of you. As a matter of fact, Jesus says that if you are the light of the world, if you are the salt of the earth, and there is no seasoning as a result of your life, he says you are good for nothing. Not my words, his words, and should be thrown out and trampled underfoot by men. So if you are a believer, you are saved, you've placed your faith in Christ and you are doing absolutely nothing. Jesus says good for nothing. And what does he say? Also, he says, this is Jesus words. He says that we must work the works of him who sent me. And the word we, the Greek word that's used, there's the word hamas. That's the plural we. So we, not him, we must work the works of him who sent Christ. As long as it is day, night is coming when no one can, there's a triggering word again, work. So it's clear, according to Christ, that we must work. As a matter of fact, not only should we work, we should even pray that there be more workers. Why? Where do we get this from? In Luke, Jesus says, uh, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. There's a triggering word again. Uh, the same Greek word for air guy is used there for laborers. The workers are few. Therefore, I beseech you that the Lord beseech the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers, workers into his harvest. When someone tells you that we don't need to do any works, dismiss them and never listen to them again. They'll put horns on your head. They'll say all sorts of things about you. You are preaching a works based salvation, missing the entirety of it. Is anyone saying that you're saved by works? No. If all you ever have is genuine faith, then you are saved. After that genuine faith, though, the Lord needs you to work. How will someone hear the gospel unless someone doesn't work? Someone doesn't preach the gospel. Someone doesn't go to them. Again, let your light so shine that men will see your good works, according to Jesus, and then glorify God. So what do we need? We need more workers. Help needed. More workers are needed for this kingdom. Why? Because I can promise you the enemy is hard at work in trying to thwart the word of God. Matter of fact, trying to thwart the work of God. That's why we need more people out there doing the work of the Lord. How much work? What sort of work? Only God knows. But should you be doing some sort of work 
as a Christian? Absolutely. Is someone going to be triggered because I use the word work probably 10, 20, 30 times in this video? Absolutely. Will they condemn me for it? Absolutely. Will the Bible? No. Will God reward our works? Triggering word again. Yes, he will. Do they have a leg to stand on in condemning our good works? No. God will deal with them. But for you, do the work that the Lord has sent you to do. As Paul says, do the work, triggering word again, of an evangelist. Fulfill your ministry. Amen.